Till now, we have talked about the different aspects of the chapter that what is development, what is growth, and what definition has been given by the UNDP for the human development. What is human development index? What are the different indicators of human development? And now, we'll be talking about the human development in India that is the second phase of the chapter. According to the Human Development Report 2005, India is ranked 127th among 172 countries of the world in terms of the Human Development Index. Now, indicators of the economic attainment, because in the previous part, we had dealt about that the growth of the people is concerned with the income, the way they spend income and the way they earn income. Now here we talk about the indicators of economic attainment. Poverty is reflected in one, that is the poor quality of life. Number two, the hunger of the people. Number three, the malnutrition. So when I say malnutrition, that means all the nutrients which are required for the body, the people are unable to take that. And next, when they are deprived of certain things, that is deprivation, this is also one factor which reflects the poverty. And illiteracy is another factor. And lastly, the consequent low level of the human development. Eradication of poverty has been the focal point in the strategy of the economic development of India. Now we take up a table which tells us about the poverty in India, that is for the years 1999 to 2000. This table has a number of states mentioned along with the percentage of population for those states below the poverty line. If you just have a look the two states, Haryana and Punjab, they have a very low percentage of the population which is below the poverty line. The state Punjab that has the least population below the poverty line and the percentage is 6.16. Followed by the state of Haryana that is with the percentage of population 8.47%. So this clearly tells that these two states are fully developed, maybe because of the agricultural development in these states. And if you see the other two states which are marked red, one is Bihar, another is Orissa. There almost around 50% of the population is below poverty line. Look at the table and you can view Odisha with 47.15 percentage of the population which is below the poverty line, followed by the state of Bihar with 42.60 percentage of the population below the poverty line. And you can have a visual of the other states with a different percentage of the population under the poverty line. Now we talk about the indicators of the healthy life because health is one of the major indicators of human development. Health is the major component of human development. It is measured in terms of number one, birth rate, number two, death rate. So when we say death rate, this is with special reference to infant mortality rate. Number three, nutrition, and number four, the life expectancy at birth. Now we talk about that what is crude death rate. The number of deaths per thousand population in a particular year is known as crude death rate. So in this death rate, there has been a rapid decline for the past many years. If you look at the statistics on your screens, you can see in the year 1951, the death rate was 
5.1%. In 1981, this reduced to 12.5%. And further, in 1999, there was a fall in the death rate and it came down to 8.7%. Infant mortality rate has also declined for the past many years. If you look at the statistics, in 1971, this infant mortality rate was 51.9%. That was quite a high percentage, which has reduced to 22.5% in the year 1999. It means the risk of death has declined at each stage of life, indicating the definite improvement in the health. Now we take up the crude birth rate. So this is also measured against the per thousand of the population. So that means the numbers of birth against per thousand population in a particular year is known as crude birth rate. And surprisingly, the birth rate has also declined, though not much, but yes, there's a fall in the birth rate also. Look at the data. In 1951, the birth rate was 40.8, which reduced to 33.9 in 1981. And there was a further decline in the birth rate, that is 26.1 in the year 1999. The rate of decline in the birth rate has been lower than the rate of decline in the death rate. So here is a comparison in the decline in both death rate and birth rate. If you look at the screens, you can find from the year 1951 to 99, the decline in the death rate had been 16.4 points, whereas the birth rate also declined, but the decline in the birth rate for these years, that is from 51 to 1999, it was 14.7 points. Now we talk about what is life expectancy. It has gone up with the decline in the vital rates, such as birth rate and fertility. So life expectancy is, on an average, how many years a person survives or lives. That is known as life expectancy. In the year 1951, for the males, the life expectancy was 37.1, whereas for the females, this was 36.2. And if we compare this year 1951 with 1999, you see the data has gone up. For the males, it has gone up to 62.3 years. And for the females, which was only 36.2 in 1951, has gone up to 65.27 years in the year 1999. Now, indicators of social empowerment, as earlier also we have said that development is freedom. So freedom from which areas we want the freedom? We want the freedom from hunger, poverty, bondage, ignorance, illiteracy. So all these which lead us to the development if we have the freedom from all these areas. Now we take up literacy. It is necessary for the person to be literate before he becomes educated. Higher level of education provides dynamism to society and helps in the social upliftment. So literacy is really required for the social upliftment of the society. As per the Population Commission of United Nations, a person with the ability to both read and write, a simple message with understanding is known as a literate person. So Census of India has also adopted the same definition for the person who's called literate. So if you look at the screens, you can see the literacy rates in India for the years 1951 to 2001. If you just look at the table, for the year 1951, the male literacy rate in India was 27.16%, whereas 
For the females in the same year, this was only 8.86%. Over the years, and now if you see in 2001, this has gone up to 75.85 for the males, and for the females, this is 54.16. And in the last census, that is 2011, it has further gone up. For the males, this is 82.14, and for the females, this has gone up to 65.46. So there are three interesting features regarding the literacy in India according to 2011 census. The total literacy rate is 74.04. For the males, this is 82.14, and for the females, this is 65%. There are wide regional disparities in the literacy rate. Bihar is the state with the lowest literacy, that is 47.53 percentage, whereas Kerala with the highest literacy rate of 90 percent. So here is a table which tells us about the human development index in the various states. Kerala with the highest human development index, that is 0.638. And this is only because of the highest percentage of the literacy in this state. So it is clear from this table that Kerala with 0.638, Punjab with 0.535, Tamil Nadu with 0.531, Maharashtra 0.523, and Haryana 0.509. Factors affecting HDI, HDI is Human Development Index, one is literacy, economic development, and the last is the social disparities which are prevailing in the society. Literacy, it plays a vital role in human development. Kerala has recorded the highest human development index, largely because of its highest literacy rate, and Bihar, the lowest literacy rate with 47.53 percentage. Economic development. So there are two different things. One is the economic development, which largely depends upon the economic development. Economically developed states like Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Punjab, they have higher value of HDI. Now we talk about the social disparities. Social disparities have the roots in the colonial period, and they still continue to play a significant role in the Indian economy. Though the government of India has made strenuous effects, efforts to remove the social disparities through the different programs. So dear children, we have discussed about the human development, the indicators of human development, the index responsible for the human indicators, and the human development index of India with reference to the various other countries of the world. As I've just told you, that as far as the HDIs is concerned, India stands 127th among 172 countries of the world. We have also discussed about the different states, their economic development in relation to the Human Development Index. So in nutshell, we can say that the growth and development both are required for the, any nation to grow faster, and they depend upon the various factors. One is the long life of the people, second is the income of the people, how much they are educated, and how comfortable life they lead. Thank you. Mm -hmm.